Praise the Lord. Welcome to Kingdom News Now. We are so glad that you joined us again tonight for another program. And I, we trust today, the word, the word of God tells us, let's begin with the Word. The Scripture tells us that greater is He that is in you mm -hmm. than he that is in the world. And we believe that tonight, that the greater one lives on the inside of us, and that there's nothing impossible to the God we serve, which means if he's on the inside of us, there's nothing impossible to you and I through him. Now, we can't do that within ourselves, but we do that through him. And, and so uh, we're glad that you joined us tonight, that you tuned in to Kingdom News Now, and we're going to bring you a, a program tonight unlike any other program. I promise you that. Well, I don't know that we could ever duplicate a program at all anyway, but, but uh, we've got some, some scripture, some word to share. We got a, another guest with us tonight, and, and, and I'm hoping to be able at some point not to call her a guest, <laughs> but to call her a regular one. <laughs> Amen. And that our is my wife, <laughs> our backup co-host. Here she is. My wife today, Lisa's with us. Amen. And it's we're so glad here. that she's joined us today. Yes. And, and, uh, and then, of course, our, our, our faithful <laughs> leader. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Of our community in our area, Mayor Rusty Wilson is with us as well. So good to have him with us again tonight. And, and, uh, um, and so we're going to bring you a, a program tonight that I believe is going to be uplifting. Amen. I believe it's going to be enlightening. Mm -hmm. uh, we just sat here and kind of went over a few scriptures for yes. you. And uh, I believe that, that it is a scripture and it is a word that the body of Christ needs to hear. Mm -hmm. If your pastor is anywhere around you, you need to call him and tell him, turn on Kingdom News now. Yes. Uh, if... if uh, uh, your family members, whoever it is, anybody that you can think of, you need to give them a call, text them whatever it is, and tell them whatever you're watching, whatever whatever avenue you're you're viewing this program on, that they need to get on there and watch it, because I believe the Word of God will definitely change your life. Amen. And I don't just not talking about from a, a sinner to a saint. Mm -hmm. right. The Word of God is going to change your life even after you're born again and Amen. saved. Amen. It's going to be a continual change. And that's what Amen. we're seeing. And we want to get right into it today uh, because I know there's no way we're going to cover what we've got on these papers <laughs> and, uh, in our notes today. So uh, we're going to cover as much as we can today. And, and, uh, and also, um, I asked Lisa even this morning, uh, we said something about she's going to be in the studio with me today. And and such, and, and she said, well, do you want me to come? She, she does a lot of our, our uh, behind the scenes stuff and the screens and stuff behind us and, and all these things. She does a lot of that. And she does stuff that you never see and never know about. Um, but she was gonna be here with me all day today. And she said, you want me to come just do that stuff or do you want me to be on the program? I said, well, absolutely be on the program. Yes. You know, that's not a question. <laughs> Anytime, every week Amen. she can be on the program. Um, <laughs> You know, we don't mind that at all. Yeah. So I said, absolutely. Amen. I said, do you have a word that you want to share? And something, you know, that's on the inside, you know, just, just burning yeah. inside you. I said, do you have something you want to share? Well, I'm thinking this and I'm thinking that. And I said, okay. Mm -hmm. I said, we'll be at the studio all afternoon and, and we'll just get in there. You study yeah. whatever you need to do, pull some stuff up and, and such, and we'll go from there. So here we are. <laughs> and we're going to yes. give it to you tonight. Yeah. And I believe it's going to change your life. Amen. Um, you know, we've had a wonderful week. What a service we had yesterday yeah. morning oh, at Excited yes. Little Fellowship. Amen. The power of God fell. There's no, no preachings per se. Right. Uh, pastor didn't get the opportunity to mm -hmm. preach. And, and a lot of word went forth, A lot though. of word went forth, <laughs> even though he didn't get to preach. Right. And uh, yeah. just during the praise and worship, the Spirit of God fell in that house. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, if you don't have a home church and you are anywhere in Anderson, Missouri, we invite you to come to Exciting yes. Living Word Fellowship in Anderson. Amen and uh, join us. In, absolutely. Yes, amen. amen. So anyway, we do want to get into this. We're going to talk a little bit about, uh, you mentioned this morning to me and then even with Rusty and I, about the barrenness of the church, mm -hmm. the condition of the church right, right now. Right. And, and so, you know, we can look around the church and we can see some things that needs to be done. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've been in church all our lives, mm -hmm. all three of us, pretty much yeah. all of our yeah. lives. Right. And, yeah. and we've seen God do some great things over the many years. Mm -hmm. And, and we're seeing Right now, the church be, are, is, in a, is in a condition that I don't believe I've ever seen it in, in our life. lifetime. In we, our lifetime. We've never seen um, a season when the church was so disrespected, right. when the reports were so bleak, yeah. 
we we're hearing people use terms like the post church era yeah. and and I don't know about you but that rubs the wrong way yeah. with me because I don't I don't believe that the church is finished. Amen. I don't believe that right. the church uh, has done everything God wanted it to do. And I believe that there's great days ahead of for the believers and for those who will stand for the word. Amen. And so um that's what's been in, in my heart because we see uh, pastors who are giving up hope yes. in the ministry, who are stepping down, who, who no longer have the vision that God gave them. Let me, let me interrupt just a second. We have a good friend over in southeast Missouri who's mm -hmm. been on our program several times mm -hmm. sharing his ministry and what God's called him into. He pastored for many years in the Assemblies of God Church. He's, he's not no longer pastoring in the church, in the pulpit. He's kind of retired from that. But God laid on his heart to open up uh, Sabbath rest. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is a restoration center basically for ministries. Oh, wow. Ministers. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not talking about restoration from drugs and alcohol mm -hmm. like we see a lot of. I'm mm -hmm. talking about just a, pl a place to come yes. and get hear along, the voice of get God. Get quiet before mm -hmm. God. There's no yep. internet out there. There's no cable out there. <laughs> there's no phone signal out wow. there. When you go, you're there. You're there. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and so he has done that. But his, according to his uh, statistics that he's given us, there are 1,500 ministers that step out of the ministry every single month. Mm -hmm. and, and, and to me, that is mind-boggling. Yeah. And so with that being said and what you're saying, you know, in watching the church be in the shape that it's in today, mm -hmm. you know, we can go to Isaiah chapter 54 mm -hmm. and we can read some things yeah. in that chapter. Yeah. Talks about, I believe, the church as of today. Yes. Right. You know? This is a special uh, passage of scripture for me um, early on in, in my faith with the Lord, feeling like, um, you know, sometimes no matter how hard we try, no matter what we do, we're not producing the fruit that we want to produce. Right. And so I've read this scripture tons of times. But in the last uh, few weeks as I've studied this, I'm, I'm looking at it from the perspective of the body of Christ and the the way that the world is looking at the body of Christ mm -hmm. and their attitude toward the numbers and the statistics and where we are in the body of Christ. And, and we have to be honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not satisfied with the number of souls that I say, mm -hmm. that I've seen saved in my life over the last five years and I probably will never be satisfied to the extent that I, I want to see more souls saved. Yes. That should be a number one priority for us in the kingdom of God. Amen. It should be the first thing that we we want to accomplish in the kingdom. So I, I just was thinking about the barrenness of the church. You know when Jesus saw the fig, uh, the, the fig tree was it the fig tree that didn't produce? Right. He cursed the fig tree yes. because it wasn't producing. Wasn't there are producing. lots of references in the scripture mm -hmm. to where he says he prunes back that which that's right. not productive. Mm -hmm. And so we hear that the numbers of the churches are falling away and we're thinking that's, that's not what we want right. to see. Mm -hmm. That's not what we believe the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. So I've been studying on... Uh, this this thought of the barrenness of the church and this scripture can I can I read from this today? Um, it says, "Sing, O barren, that thou did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud that thou did not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord." Yes. So he's saying there. There are more in the world of the unbelievers are multiplying in in a way that looks like they're they're multiplying beyond those that are married to the kingdom of God that are married to uh, the Lord, and so he's saying, "Don't give up hope." Amen. He's right. saying, "Sing." Mm -hmm. If this is the hour, even though it seems like it's darkness. He delivered us out of the kingdom of darkness yes, yes. into the marvelous light. If we're believers and if we're following the kingdom of God, and I know many of you are, then he's called us to come out Amen. of the darkness, to come out of the world and to, to, 
to send forth the word Amen. of God mm -hmm. to those. And you said uh, earlier, greater is he that's yes. in you yes. than he that's in the world. That should be our hope Absolutely. for the future and the future in him. He says, not just is this a promise, but he wants you to enlarge the place of your yes. tent. Amen. If you're getting ready to have a baby, you know, there's a nursery to prepare. There are things right. to be bought. There are things that need to be done. And you prepare a place. Amen. You clean out a space for a crib and you clean out Amen. this place for that new child to come. Amen. And he's telling the church, this is the season. Now, he's not telling us necessarily to go build more buildings. And right. he's telling us to enlarge the place of our heart yes. that we can receive and we can hear the voice of God and we can lead those uh, to into the kingdom of God. You know, it hadn't been just the last two weeks ago, probably. Rusty and I did. And if you follow Kingdom News now and you watch this program on a regular basis, you will remember it hadn't been two weeks ago that Rusty and I was talking about this particular scripture. Mm -hmm. Now, Lisa wasn't here with us that day when we recorded it. Mm -hmm. But enlarge the place of thy tent. In other words, you have to make room. You know, we've got a series going on right now. It's on Facebook right now. Mm -hmm. We began just a few weeks ago, yes. and that is making room for your miracle. Mm -hmm. And this was one of the key scriptures we <laughs> used. Mm -hmm. Now, Lisa didn't know that until just about three Amen. minutes before we went on the air today. Amen. And I, I told her, I said, this is the same scripture mm -hmm. that Rusty and I used just a few weeks yes. ago on enlarging the place of our tent mm -hmm. and making room for that miracle. And that's exactly what you're saying. That's what we have to do mm -hmm. in order to become the church yes. that God's called us to be. Amen. We have to strengthen our stakes. Yeah. We right. have to pray. We have to seek God like we never have before. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to get stronger. We have to strengthen our stakes. We have to uh, lengthen thy cords, the scripture mm -hmm. says, you know. We have to reach out and stretch out, mm -hmm. right? You know, more so than ever you before. You brought a key yesterday morning in service, mm -hmm. and, we, and the Holy Spirit said, "How far are you willing to go? Yeah, right. How far are you willing to reach to go to get what you believe in God for, right. to for the church to grow? Yes. It, again, it's not about us. No. It's not mm -hmm. about. It's not about. Honestly, it's not about the viewers. Right. Okay. God has. You're watching this. It's, it's about you watching it and receiving it yes. and go sharing with others. Yes. It's time to for us as the body of Christ to get an understanding. Again, Amen. it's bigger it's than It's bigger us. than we are. <laughs> That's right. Bigger than us. That's so right. it's like, you know, it stuck with me. He, he shared that with me like yeah. three weeks ago. Yes. Yes. And it's like, we got to get an understanding. It's bigger than this. Yes, absolutely. You know, it's bigger than, it's bigger than us. So, right. Right. again, the barren. Right. Getting going from the barren to the manifestation Amen. of his word. Amen. Amen. There was a, a, a seminar years ago when I was studying for um, my administration work that someone asked us, if you knew that you could not fail, mm -hmm. if there was no possibility of failure, what would you set out to accomplish? Oh, yeah you would set out to accomplish a lot of things that you're not going to set out to accomplish yeah. today because you believe that that there's failure ahead of you that it's yes. not it but it says change your vision yes in in increase your vision stretch forth the the curtains of your habitation in other words, those things that you block out from your mind that limitations that you've set on things God wants us to push beyond that Jack spoke a message one time when we were here years ago about rubber band faith, about stretching yourself. Because when you pull back on that rubber band, the farther and more tension, you, you know, saints, we feel the tension. We feel the pressure. But when you pull that tension back on that rubber band, it's going to shoot a lot farther. And it's also going to sting where it hits. It's going to accomplish something that you set out to do when you pull back that pressure. We feel like we're under pressure. We feel like the world is criticizing, that it's making fun of the church, that it's making fun of the saints, kind of like Goliath did. Yes. Goliath looked Amen. at David and said, well, who do you think you are? Amen. 
But David looked at him and said, you come with a spear and a sword, but I come in the name of the Lord. And that's Amen. what yes. the church has Amen. to begin to do. Yes. We have to learn to come in the name of the Lord, not, not with a program. Right. Not with a gymnasium, not with a, all of the other things that we could seek out as a church, yes. but with the power yes. and the anointing that comes with the gospel, the light that stretches forth. We, we, let me say this, we are not against gymnasiums. Oh, churches. no, I didn't mean no, that. I know you didn't. No. I know you didn't. Right. But I'm just saying, for those of you that may question and wonder, we are not against Mm -hmm. A great time with the church. Mm -hmm. We're not against. Not, I don't mean just having fun. Youth programs. Yeah, or youth programs. Mm -hmm. We're not against any of those things. We want to use those things. If yes. we can use those things to draw the people right. in, right. then absolutely we need Amen. to do it. We're not against smoke. No. We're not against the lights. Mm -hmm. We're not against you know all those things so much. As long as as long as it's drawing people mm -hmm. to the foot of the cross. As long as it's fruitful. Amen. As long as it's fruitful. Now, when we come to church just for those reasons. Yeah. Then there's a problem. It can't right. be the main focus. No. It can't yeah. be the main no. focus. Yeah. No. This goes on and says, and strengthen thy stakes. Yes. When you read strengthen thy stakes, that's talking about roots. Yes. That's talking Amen. about that stake being dr driven way down into the earth Amen. and being reinforced Amen. so that you're stable in your footing. We have to examine our faith and our belief system mm -hmm. so that we know what is it that we believe. Yes. Because we Amen. have culture mm -hmm. being thrown at us from every Amen. standpoint. Yes, culture that does not line up with the word and the pressure to come in line with the culture of this world. Right. But the word says here, and strengthen thy stakes. We need to drive down to a place of knowing what the word of God has taught us Amen. is true and anything that is shy of truth is not going to bear fruit. If it's not the truth, then it's a lie. It's a lie. Right. Yeah. And it's not going to be fruitful. No. It's not going to bear fruit no. in our lives or in the lives of others. We could compromise our words and we could agree with something that's contrary to the Word of God, but it will not yeah, right. produce fruit. In fact, many times the churches have been... Uh, you know, give it a mandate on them, such a pressure to perform Amen. or to entertain. Amen. But God wants us to get back to that place where the Holy Spirit yes. is the leader, yes. where he gets to lead the yes. services. I, I remember when Jack and I met years ago and we would travel and he, you know, he would say, well, where, where you want to go to church tomorrow? And maybe we would know a place, maybe we didn't. Mm -hmm. And I would always say to him, take me somewhere where the Holy Spirit's welcome. Yes. I don't want to go any place. I don't want to waste my time Amen. in a church or a place where the Holy Spirit's not welcome there. Amen. Now, there are times when God plants us in that place to be a light right. and to stir up something. So I'm not telling you, you know, to give up on an, a church that needs to be uh, rekindled in a fire in that place. But I want to be someplace where the Holy Spirit is welcome to come in and to, to do miracles today. I believe he's just as eager to do miracles and signs and wonders today as he was in the time of the Bible. Amen. And in fact, I believe that this is what he's telling us to sing because we're about yes. to produce fruit yes. again. Amen. We're about, you know, this goes on. Uh, I forget what the verse was. Uh, verse 6 says, For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken, grieved in spirit, a wife of youth, when thou was refused. See, the church has been refused. It's been turned down. It's it, People have turned their back on us. Some of the people that we love and care about the most that we've poured into Amen. have forsaken the, Amen. the things of God and sometimes forsaken us as ministers. Yes, that's right. But... It's it's about um, it's about time that God sees that turnaround. I believe that those who have backslidden, that those who have put away the things of God, are about to be shaken. Yeah. That there yeah. is going to be a time yeah. and a season that is right in front of us. That God is going to deal with hearts in a supernatural way. He used a word a few months ago. I was thinking about um, a young man that happened to be related to the pastor here. 
And the Holy Spirit said, when I bring him in, he will be a unifier mm -hmm. to this body. Yes. And I believe that God is going to bring in a unifier, mm -hmm. many unifiers. Yes. As, because if our son come in this church and, and rededicated his life, and, and if it was our daughter or someone related to us, all of this congregation would worship God yes. and, and yes. praise God and rejoice with us. And the, one, of the, one of the good parts about that is that young man was here in the service with us last two week. weeks ago. Last yeah, two weekend. weeks, yep. Yeah, so, so I believe God's doing that. God gave yeah. me that word that he would be a unifier, that all the division or the divisive ways that we mm -hmm. think and get separated, God will bring it back together over souls, yeah. over souls that we all can jointly yeah. get excited Amen. about seeing come into the kingdom of God. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Yep. <laughs> this is really the first part this. of this and we've got six <laughs> minutes left <laughs> I tell you what I don't know how we're going to do this but we're going to come back and do the second part of this okay, okay. okay. is that alright? I knew right. I went done oh no, no, we got way more than six minutes left but you know, we started with the Baron Church. It's yeah. not going to end with no. the Baron Church. Oh, no. no. You know, there's a whole other part to this. Yes. And uh, uh, the Baron Church is what we sense and feel today. Yes. But that is not the way it's going to continue. No. That's right. No. You know, God is moving already still today. Yes. He's still moving. Yes. Even though it feels like what we're talking about, what we yeah. described tonight uh, as as part of the, the the feel of the service mm -hmm. today of the church, not just church services, mm -hmm. but of the church as a whole, right. the yes. body of Christ. Yes. Sometimes it feels like we're barren, mm -hmm. like we are not. And the truth is, you said it earlier. We're not seeing the the the, the soul saved like we should be. Right. Mm -hmm. right. We're not. But right. there is coming a day soon yes. 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 that it's going to happen. That's it's right. Happen. You know, it's going to happen, Amen. and and uh, and so. Uh, we've got just a few minutes left on this program, and we want to share with you how you can contact us. Of course, all our information has been up and down on the screen uh, throughout the, the program and such. And But we also want to invite you to go to uh, our podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, Rusty and I have done a podcast since January 1st of this year, each week. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so, and, and it won't just like this program, it's not going to be just me and Rusty. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> we're just waiting for the right time. Right. Um, <laughs> but but uh, you can find us on all the, the social media apps, that, yeah. the podcast apps and such, uh, yeah. on Spotify and yeah. uh, iTunes, iTunes um, uh, Amazon. Amazon you know, Music. Yeah. yeah, you can find us on any of them that... that, uh, uh, that do the podcast and such, yes. um, and you can do that. Uh, it's called Kingdom Power uh, Podcast, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it's not just under Kingdom News now, but mm -hmm. it is under Kingdom Power. Mm -hmm. And so we invite you to go check that out, uh, share it uh, with your friends and your family as well. And it is not the audio from our programs right. here. It's a totally different topics, mm -hmm. totally different things that we're sharing on the podcast, and also the radio program. Uh, that we are on with the Gur radio station, <laughs> putting the gospel back in the yeah. Gur. <laughs> I love it, um, Brother Tony Marks down in Harrison, Arkansas, uh, and and he does a great job with what he's doing and and such. But we are on the Gur radio station, online radio station, mm -hmm. every Sunday at 1 p.m. and every Monday at 1 p.m. under Kingdom Power Broadcast. Amen. It's an outreach of Kingdom News now. That's what Amen. Kingdom Power is. It's just an outreach of Kingdom News. So we invite you to check that out as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you know, we're, wherever you can find us on, on online, we're on mm -hmm. YouTube every Saturday morning. In fact, the programs on YouTube mm -hmm. are updated every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. the, the program is uploaded most of the time by Friday. Mm -hmm. it's, it's already uploaded. You can click that you are waiting mm -hmm. to view it. Yes. And and then come Saturday morning at 9.30, you get the alert, you get mm -hmm. the notification that we've come on the air. Yes. And so you can do that, and we invite you to do that. And you can see the latest 
Kingdom News Now TV programs mm -hmm. right there on YouTube every Saturday morning at 9.30. Yes. Yes. And then, of course, we're still on the Now Network that, mm -hmm. that reaches around the world in 83 nations. And so thankful for Pastor Mark Burns and what yes. he's done with Now yes. Network. Amen. Amen. And so Amen. we invite you, check us out. You can find us anywhere on, online almost mm -hmm. just, just by searching Kingdom News Now. And, or search my name, search Rusty's name, mm -hmm. and search Lisa's name. All of us are tied in it together. Yes. Yes. So uh, uh, you can, you can find sign us. Up for the email yes, <laughs> yes, please do that. If you're watching this program, please uh, go to our Facebook pages, anyway, Kingdom mm -hmm. News Facebook and our Facebooks, and sign up for our email newsletter. Anyway, it's not all about us. No. no. It's not all about it's Not at all news. about us. It is about the kingdom's yes. news. Yes. But it's not about this TV program. We're just the vessels. Amen. We're the vessels. We're the vessels. That's what it is. Can I close with a prayer? Absolutely. I just want to I want to pray with you today. If if you're if you are someone who who listens to that word of um, seeing O oh, you barren. If you, if you have felt disappointed, unqualified, mm -hmm. ill-equipped to do what God's called you to do in the kingdom, I want you today just to join your heart with mine. And let's, let's just pray as we close out this program today because God has greater things ahead. Amen. Amen. Father, we just thank you for thank your you Holy so Spirit. We thank you for your presence as, as we yes. just chew on your word today it's so rich it's so filling father god that there is hope there is light there is hope to those father god who feel barren who who feel like that there's just nothing worked out the way that they believe that it would father help us to hold on give us a nail in your place father god that we can hang on and to the very end, Father God, you said there would be great reward for those that would hold on to the end. Father, we thank you that we will be barren no longer, but we will be fruitful yes. in the kingdom and that we will have word for this due season that we've been born for such a day as yes. this. We thank you for our ministry friends, Father God, who labor over the kingdom work every day. Father, we ask you to gird them up, to strengthen them, to send men and women to hold up their arms in this battle, in this hour of the church. Father, let us glorify you in everything that's said and done. Mend the hearts of your ministry, Father God, that we could be strong in this hour and go forth and do exploits as you told us we would do. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, Father God, yes. in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. 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 Until Amen. we are back with you next week, uh, and we uh, will continue this message mm -hmm. of the barren church to the fruitful church. Yes. Amen. And I believe that's what's happening. Amen. Yeah. And so Hallelujah. until we see you again, let's tell them what time it is. <laughs> it's, it's time, time to, to testify. testify. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. God bless you.